Looking for some things to do at the end of September? Well, here are some ideas. On Sunday, September 22nd, there are three events that will take place on Staten Island. First is the Michael's Cause Step for a Cure Walk at Clove Lakes Park. The event will start at 7.30 a.m. They will be holding a 5K run at 9 a.m. and the walk will begin at 10 a.m. Come help raise awareness and money for Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. Registration is required. If you register before September 12th, you will have the discounted rate of $20 for adults and $10 for children four years old and up. If you wait until the day of the walk, there will be a $5 increase in these prices. If you have any questions, you may visit www.michaelscause.org, email michaelscause at gmail.com, or call 646-258-6152. Interested in flying a model airplane? Well, the next event on Sunday is the Learn to Fly Day at the Field of Dreams, located at the La Tourette Park and Golf Course, at the corner of Richmond Avenue and Forest Hill Road. This event will take place between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., and you must register the day of the event to be able to fly one of the model airplanes with one of the instructor pilots. Registration is between 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. There are only 10 models to fly, so the first 10 people to register will be able to fly them. The last event on Sunday is the historic New York Native Americans Talk. This talk will take place in Blue Heron Park's Nature Center at 1 p.m. Sit with the urban park rangers and learn about historic turning points for the city. On Monday, September 23rd, Willowbrook Park will be the location of Walk NYC. You can join the walking instructors for a nice one-hour walk through the park. Meet up with them next to the Carousel for All Children at 12 p.m. Don't forget to wear your walking shoes and to bring water. Want to see the world like the bugs and animals? On Wednesday, September 25th, the Greenbelt Nature Center will be hosting a free program called The Eyes Have It. This is a great event for the kids. They will be able to see how bugs and animals see things, learn about how animals use their senses instead of sight, create their very own pair of fun colored glasses, and take a walk through the park to see these great animals. This event will take place between 3.30 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. and registration is required. So either call 718-351-3450 or email naturecenter at sigreenbelt.org. Lastly, on Saturday, September 28th, there are five events that you might enjoy. At 11 a.m. in High Rock Park, there will be a nature exploration hike. This is a vigorous hike up and down hills, through rough terrain, and it will be a long distance walk. Make sure you wear appropriate clothing and shoes, and don't forget to pack water and a small snack. If you would prefer a slower paced hike, Join the Protectors of Pine Oak Woods at Reed's Basket Willow Swamp. You will join Clay Walney for a two-hour walk through the park after meeting up at the Spring Street entrance at 12 p.m. If you would like more information, you can call Clay Walney at 718-869-6327. Do you like to go on scavenger hunts? Well, why not sign up for the second annual lighthouse hunt? This event will take place from 10 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. You will start this event at one of the three sites, the National Lighthouse Museum, the end of New Dorp Lane, or the Conference House, and you will end up at Conference House Park. There will be pirate maps given out at the beginning with lighthouses and other nautical objects for you to find. Once you find the spot, you must get stamps from the pirates at each location for proof that you were there. This event costs $15 for adults and $10 for children ages 3 to 10, and you must register to be part of it. To register, you can visit www.lighthousemuseum.org, email info at lighthousemuseum.org, or call 855-656-7469. Along with the Lighthouse Hunt, there will be a day of family fun at Conference House Park beginning at 1 p.m. There will be some great activities for kids, and the Pirate School will be performing at 2 p.m. 
Want to do a colorful 5K walk, run, ski, hop, or dance? Well, at the Richmond County Bank Ballpark, there will be the Run or Die 5K event starting at 9 a.m. Those of you who are doing the 5K will be splashed in colorful dye before and at every kilometer mark. To really show the colors, it is best to wear a light color or white, but don't think that is the only dress code. You can come in any crazy outfit you want. This is just a fun run that is not timed, so you can walk, run, skip, dance, or do what you please to get to the finish line. Once you reach the finish line, you will enter the dye festival for some more fun. To be part of the 5K, registration is required and it costs $55 for individuals and $50 per person for teams of four or more people. To register, you can visit www.runordie.com slash locations slash Staten Island 2013. The last event for Saturday, September 28th, is the Light the Night Walk for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. This event will take place at the Midland Beach Promenade at 5.30 p.m. If you would like to join the cause and help raise money, you can register at www.lightthenight.org slash nyc slash register.